good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time it is for you, where you are. Happy Friday. Welcome back. Fresh, brand new Friday. Welcome to Friday. <laughs> you did it. You made it. If Friday is a, is a place that you like to go. Yeah, let's boot this up. I feel like I've forgotten. Yeah, it's, it's kind, of, kind of the normal feeling <laughs> that you guys do it. I want to thank Eeyore for a brand new Prime sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And Pickles919 with a 35 month resub. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Well, this is peculiar. Um, I've, I've, I'm going to play Alpha today. I've loaded it up and it's, it's gone into a teeny tiny window. Let me see if I can get this out of, I think it's like an actual window, not windowed full screen. Menu. You guys can't see it yet. There, there you go. <laughs> I could, I could fix this. It was in full screen. Maybe if I put it in window and then back. <laughs> That looks better. There we go. How's everybody doing today? Let's see. We got some water and coffee. I think we made it to Friday if we like it or not. Mm. I mean, if anybody wants to tell me it's still Thursday, I'm not here to argue with you. <laughs> whatever you, whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat. <sighs> they enabled earthen on alpha. That's the word on the street. Should we make one? This was just a hunter that I made just to see what four characters look like in the warband. So we can we can toss that. <sighs> we have so many redundant priests. Why not make one more? <laughs> I wish it was still Thursday. New animations for Woodweaver look very cool. Alright. I want to make... An earthen. Yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. They say bigger than dwarf or dark iron dwarf. Mm -hmm. I have heard that. I want to be a priest. Am I making a male or a female earthen? Let's do this. That is a lot of beard. That is an impressive, very impressive amount of beard. There's a lot of different options. I've, so they really do look, I was, I saw this, um, I saw this when we were looking at the earthen options on the Wowhead model viewer. They really do have like this sort of like cut cable look to the to trimmed ends of their their hair in both their hair and their beard. I'm sure there's there's like a reason for that, but it just looks like French fries to me. <laughs> like how metallic they look. Yeah. So if I was doing one, I would probably, as magnificent as they are, I think we're gonna shave. I think I liked. Like I looked at. Ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. There was a, I was making like a like a pink one. You could be gold. I didn't know you could be. That's kind of cool. Copper, bronze. There's blue, blue. There's like a like a real purple, purple. Archer, Moo, thank you for the thirteen month resub. And Jamie Lee with a 59 month recent. Thanks, guys. Late on the Twitch anniversary, almost five years as an official Twitch streamer. Any fun five year celebration stream plans and happiest of happy Fridays. What's five times 12? <laughs> um, are, we, are we there yet? I haven't planned anything. I'm no fun. I should. 60. Oh, that's close. <laughs> that's, a, that's pretty close. Precursor of flesh dwarves. Mm. Yeah, I am. I am not an authority on the why. Um. Well, that's some faces. Ooh, cheekbones come through. Um. <laughs> we've got lots of choices. So if they're precursive flesh, this is just like a, like a vibe then. <laughs> Class restrictions on this race. No demon hunters, no druids, no evokers. I think they can do everything else. Um, do we know their racial abilities now? Uh, yeah, I think so. They get they get some kind of food buff that people were saying was overpowered. We'll take a look at the rest of them and as soon as I've made really good choices. So we got to go back to... Well... Yeah. Um... 
hairstyle wise love a good shoulder braid <laughs> uh racial armor benefit wasn't working but it's alpha mm -hmm. oh you've got really nice metallic hair colors that copper is really pretty that's nice That's nice, too. I know they had a hair color on the preview that was kind of, like, almost pink. I don't know if I see it. Oh, no, it's that one. That's the one I'm thinking. It was, like, the orange and pink. <laughs> Although, now that I've seen the... Now that I've seen, seen that, that, that feels like it's... Yeah, they've got great hairstyles. <laughs> so excited to make one fifth thousand for my horde. <laughs> yeah. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm they do feel distinct from dwarves to me. I wonder if it's just the the, the kind of metallic theme. And I mean that'll that will do it. <laughs> it actually nests quite nicely with the braid. It all kind of it all kind of matches the the flow of the hair. Oh man. Um eyebrows yes or no. You can you can remove eyebrows if that's if that's your your boat floating. Uh I would do like a blue, but not like a super aggressive blue with this. So not that one, that's too much. That one's a lot. Isn't that like a really kind of... Yeah, that's nice. And then we also have the gem options. Not too many of them. You can choose if you want a belt gem or not <laughs> to go into the belt slot that is... It's it's funny their undergarments look just like built onto their body. And then you can choose your gem color too. Yeah, it's nice. Uh their name randomizer doesn't make anything yet. Also maybe maybe a little Yeah, there we go. Mm. Got my heavenly onyx after like a million attempts. Like just got it. Congratulations. Can't wait to make an earthen shaman. All right. Um Let's be... Oh, it doesn't matter. It's alpha. There we go. Yeah. Here. I want her to stand vaguely next to... Next to... Dwarf. I guess it's kind of hard to get a feel for how tall they are because they're... Because of the, the depth. Roxanne. There you go. Why is Holy Priest fun? I am... Um, I have been playing Holy in my raid nights, and I feel like even though the spec bonus, the set bonus is the same as it was yes, yesterday? Yester season. I feel like this, the set bonus didn't change. And my talents changed, but I don't know in what way. I just know I plugged in a new talent build and then got on, carried on with my life. It all feels like I'm not doing it right. And it's going well enough. We did manage to, against what felt like all odds, we did manage to kill Heroic Razageth. We full cleared Normal and Heroic Vault over two Raid Knights, which I'm pretty pleased with. All right. There's Shadow. Apparently Voidweaver got new, um, got new keybinds and stuff. Or not keybinds, um, animations and stuff. So I would like to poke around with that. I want auto loot. I want class colors in case we do some more dungeons. I want some more action bars, and I'm gonna see if I can do the real quick and dirty version of uh, of moving the stuff around. You think at a certain point I would have all of this memorized? Maybe I can like let her dance while we're <laughs> while we're figuring that out. Slash, dance. So you do that. And I'm going to grab my screenshot of my. Shadow Priest Dragonflight Bars, and I'm just gonna... Whoop, 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 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Vaguely. Nine, four, five. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And this one. That one. Yeah, it looks like somewhat somewhat what I like to do. We have uh, some stuff missing. We put Desperate Prayer over there. Mind Soothe. Res. Always important. Fortitude. Uh, levitate, I'm gonna grab a macro for. And then that's, that's what we got. Oh yeah, we can see our, um, we got our, our racial as well. Here, let's throw that on a bar. That needs its own button. There's, there's wand. All of our sky riding abilities. Oh, I wonder if they did anything with that. If I can, like, actually sky ride without, um, <sighs> having to go back to Valdraken and talk to the NPC there. Or failing that, maybe the Valdraken portal will work so I don't have to take the boat. <laughs> So talent-wise, do we have any talents? Let's do starter build. That'll that'll do. Caught the stream this time. Oh, it's missed it since I'm stuck at work. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, we got some new buttons. We got vampire. Oh, we unlearned vampire embrace rip. Uh, but we got shadow crash and dark. I don't want dark ascension. No, thank you. Show show it to me, and then I'll trade it for um, void eruption. Void eruption is just more fun. We'll do that. And then we have Shadow Crash, which is great. That can go right there. Can I do Divine Star instead of um, Halo? Is that, a, is, that a, is that a possibility? Yeah, I like that one better. Halo just feels like too much drama. <laughs> do I need to be doing AoE in such an enormous radius? Divine Star is just nice and nice and tidy. Um, oh, and then I can I like having a nice little void form or shadow form uh, keybind. Even though it's a, even though you could just hit, I just like having a button. It's over here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. There it is. And over there. Gaijin Zen, thank you very much for the 45 month resub. Appreciate it. And in 42 with a 31 month resub. Thank you so much. Nice to see you every day. Brings a little brightness. Oh. You can search talents. Did not know that. Mm. I think they added that in the Dragonflight talent thing. I want to say. All right, I've heard good things about, you should report a toy box. I've heard good things about the new shadow animations. What else did, was it that I wanted to look at? Oh yeah, um, racials, that's right. So we have Azerite Surge, visuals not yet implemented. So let's not get too excited. Two minute cooldown, draw upon your inner strength, released to invoke power of Azerite. So it's an empower spell like evokers, but not on evokers. Um, it'll do damage. If you empower it, it'll also heal. And then if you empower it more, it'll do more damage. So I don't see why you wouldn't want to do the best version of it. And then for our other racials, base armor from equipped items increased by 10%. Uh, you get extra exploration experience for exploring, which seems like fine, I suppose. 2% um, finesse. So good for they're good for gathering ults. They get a flat 2% finesse. And then this is the racial that people really liked. You're always well fed. And you cannot consume food. So you have a perma food buff. Um, activate ingest minerals to consume a gem and change the benefit granted to you by well fed. So you can eat gems to swap your food buff. But you always have a food buff. You never have to worry about if they do like another version of Flavor Pocket or whatever. You never have to worry about like re-upping your food buff. Um, so that's basically just money saving really. Um, but yeah. Do I have any gems? Can I actually, I can probably buy some gems from, from one of these guys. Pressure training recipes, geologist and rock collector. Can we just get like a, a pack of stuff? So it looks like, uh, Amber is Stam, Emerald is Haste, Onyx is Mastery, Ruby is Crit, Sapphire is Versa. So if I wanted Mastery is Onyx seems good. I don't know if that's like my good stat or anything, but <laughs> it's alpha, it doesn't matter. Uh, where's the onyx? Ostentatious onyx. Activate ingest minerals to consume a gem. But it's a passive button. Activate ingest minerals. 
I wonder if it's not fully implemented. Because it certainly doesn't seem to, to do anything. Unless I'm just having a real, real moment. <laughs> no main stat buff, only secondary? Mm-hmm. Um, I would assume... Let's talk to Nomi for a hot second. And take a look at the cooking for... Let's take a look at the... Actually, I don't know if Castle Guard cooking is implemented yet. But if it is, it's possible... I wouldn't be surprised if it's... If there just isn't main stat food, if that's the case for um for Earthen, because otherwise it would suck if your racial was actually kind of like a nerf if it turns out that main stat food is is the best. So your spell or your professions are actually in a different window now, which is gonna take some getting used to. Uh, everyday cooking. Hmm. I don't know if we can do castle. Train me in cooking. I don't want to learn Dragon Isles cooking. That doesn't help me. Well, it's all we got. <laughs> if you can't eat, can you still drink? I'm sure you can. Um, let me let me let me see if I can find some water. Um, it would be bananas if they couldn't drink anything. <sighs> Making my earthen look like Abigail from Stardew. You could do a purple one, actually. Well, that would be really cute. Mm. I know it's not like relevant relevant level food, but just for just for argument's sake. Here she is. Nice cup of milk. <laughs> That's how I drink milk too. Okay. I want to get my hero talents and I wanna go quest, I think, is my is my plan for the day. We also have our angelic feather macro. Very nice. And levitate. <laughs> Do we have a new zone? I want to unlock all my hero talent points and level to 71 so that we can get going with Void Weaver. Choose your hero talents. I would love to. Is Archon implemented yet? No, not quite. Nothing, nothing doing over there. I'll be excited to try that out when we when it does land, because we've been able to try Void Weaver and Oracle, but I'm still waiting for Archon. Because <laughs> I don't know if that's what I'm gonna do. I feel like this uh, this talent where you can void turn while moving is going to be very, very popular. Um, because the other one where Entropic Rift slows enemies, I'm sure it will be useful in like niche cases, but I, mean, I don't know about all that. It's nice that there's just a couple of choice nodes and a lot of these talents are passive. Oh yeah, I like the Void Wraith. And then I liked that one, that one, and Collapsing Void. So, should I, should we target dummy for a second, just so we can take a look-see at the, um, a look-see at the... Oh man, I'm back down to three vigor. And, well, I'm gonna target dummy for a second anyway. <laughs> but I think I might need to make a quick trek to Veldraken to actually get my vigor up on this character. Because uh, last I checked the scripts weren't working and I don't want to, I don't want to mess around with it. So, I should be able to summon an Entropic Rift by Void Torrent tears open the Rift. Oh, I don't have Void Torrent in my bar. <laughs> Void Torrent seems important. Am I not specced into it? The, the starter build doesn't give you Void Torrent. That's funny. Mm, what do I want to drop for it? Something, I'm sure. Can I not get out of a Capstone? I guess I could get rid of Maddening Touch. I think I have to drop either Maddening Touch or a Capstone. Or Surge of Insanity. I think we can still get... Oh no. No, I need I need that one for, for up top. Alright, let's get... Fine. Uh, which one of these do I not like? Oh, Thing from Beyond. That's yeah, fine. I just need, I need Void Torn, it's important. Mm. Try to Holy in this yet. Holy, yes. Disc, no. I'm not planning to try Disc. We will take a look at the Portal to Valdrakken. That would be, that would be good if it worked. I want to see what Void Torn looks like. I heard it's new. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. 
And then there's the Entropic Rift, that big shiny blue thing. And then there's Void Blast. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, I need to change Empowered Spell input on this character because I wasn't holding that down. I can't try Azerite Surge again for another two minutes. It says Visual's not yet implemented, so I'm not going to get too too worked up about um. I'm not going to get too worked up about it looking kind of like a Heart of Azeroth. <laughs> Although, you know, it is Azerite Surge. There's the Void Wraith. He's kind of Void Blasting. Good for him. And Void Surge. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Alright, happy with that. Let's go see if I can get... Let's go see if I can get my... My... My bigger back. Not a big fan of the blue orb? Should be purple. More blue than dark purple, otherwise exactly the same. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, they seem to have gone more in like a like a space void and a little bit away from like a tentacle monster void. Because I always figure tentacle monsters are purple and space is blue. <laughs> you know, like you do. Alright, let's see if we can port to Veldraken, because if not, it looks like I'm going to be taking the boat. <laughs> boat and a flight path. Is the milk served? In a skull mug. Wonder if higher quality gems give you bigger bonuses. I wouldn't expect them to. That would be strange. And and not and something that's not noted in the racial text. Although I can't use the racial yet, so <laughs> any anybody's guess. Well, dragons over this way with the dragons, that's right. You can tell where they are because of their big dragon tails. Man! What gets my goat is I think that's just an alliance problem, too. <laughs> Alright, quick boat ride. And then we're going to the Dragon Tiles. My Hearthstone is going to take me back here. It's on a 30 minute cooldown, but I don't think I'm going to need it. So after we get the stuff that we need in Veldraken, we can just kind of hearth back and then take the take the port to go, to go do some questing. I should also probably sit in a dungeon queue. Um... Because I heard there's a new dungeon. Random War Within Dungeon. Specific dungeons. Dark Flame Cleft. Oh, two new dungeons. Because before we had the Cinderbrew Meadery and the Rookery. Um, Follower Dungeons. Not yet available, but they have the Dawnbreaker for there. I guess what I'll do is I will... Um, I wonder if I should set up my bars first. I was going to say I can keep for like a random one. And I can say that I could heal or DPS to maybe get into a dungeon faster. But, in order to do that, I should probably just make some quick and dirty holy bars so I can heal it if it comes to that. Okay. So, for this starter build. And then we'll grab some quickie oracle talents. Because, yeah, Archon's still not... Still not happening. But these are super easy. These they're, these aren't like super difficult decisions or anything. Alright, and then we get premonition. And we can just kinda try to fix this as as best as we can on short notice. I don't even know if I'm specced into power word life. I'm not. <laughs> I've got I've got benevolence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we can we can probably get into a random dungeon queue. We can queue for his healer or DPS. I would prefer to DPS, and I feel like it might actually stick me into a DPS queue. But one of these, yeah, not too bad. You know the queue for a healer will pop one hundred times faster than just DPS. Maybe. Um, that hasn't always been my experience in Alpha so far. There's been so few people in general that getting three DPS is sometimes harder than getting one person to try to, to heal it. It's uh, it's just a, there's not a whole lot of people poking around that are looking for a dungeon at any particular time. 
Do you like to do anything quick and dirty, or are you more of a deliberate and tidy person? Oh, I mean, I think we all contain multitudes. I have both of those people floating around in here somewhere, and which one is driving is very much a product of um, fate and how, how well I've been taking care of myself lately. <laughs> There's the right version of doing things, and then there's the this will have to do version of doing things. And then, if you if you fall far enough off the truck, there's the not doing things. Which is, uh, which is the, the, the place where we try to avoid when we're on the truck. Let's get Angelic Feather back there. So, a Leap of Faith, important. Powered Fortitude, we like that. Grab Mind Soothe back, I'm definitely not going to use it, but it's nice to have the button handy. Res, should be Mass Res around here somewhere, right? Maybe like a nice shield. Oh, Apotheosis. Important. One of your Premonition. Very important. Yeah, mass res can go over here. Why do I need- I don't need regular res. I've got mass res. It's better. You really want a yeah, happy with that. We got some- we got some, uh, some holy priest bars, too. There are two wolves in your heart. Or however that one goes. I don't think I've heard of that one. Also, how are you? I like how dragon riding looks in the horse mounts. Mm-hmm. Kind of bummed about no BlizzCon this year. I thought for sure this was the year they would announce a Heroes of the Storm revival. Really? Are there rumors about that kind of thing? I've not heard of it, but I've not. I'm. I'm. I'm Amy. I've got my head in the sand. <laughs> I'm just gonna let the boat take me all the way in. Hmm. I was surprised about the no BlizzCon this year, just because I have vague memories. Of them putting out a post being like, we're definitely, for sure, doing it this year. And I just, I thought it was weird of them to backtrack that without giving, like, a a reason. Not that we're owed a reason. And I don't even think it's a good idea for them to tell us the reason, especially if it's because they they either laid off all the people that know how to run the convention and they just realize they, don't, they can't do it without them. Or B, it's just not worth it cash-wise. Both valid reasons not to do it if it's just going to be a disaster. What would be extremely funny to me is if it was just that nobody remembered to book the convention center in time, and after they lost their window, they were like, well, never mind. <laughs> I would play Heroes in a heartbeat. There's rumors they want to port the game to Steam or something with the Microsoft acquisition. Huh. I may know the reason, though I haven't verified it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> people who weren't also weren't that positive about it last year. People, I think, are going to be negative about BlizzCon no matter what until the end of time. I think our era of everybody being, like, happy and excited and together about it is just over because of how <laughs> gamers and media and discussion around games companies is now. Um, I don't think that's necessarily, like, a good or a bad thing, but I think that... I think that the era of, well, this BlizzCon was awesome being, like, the only take is kind of over. I feel like they have nothing major to announce this year. Mm. I feel like they've done they've done strong conventions without major announcements, though. And they're right. They can do announcements at trade shows. And they've proven that they can do announcements just live-streamed out of HQ whenever they want. Um, people people turn up for that. I would like... <laughs> like a like a like a flight path. Cons are to announce stuff, also to sell merch, have fans meet up. Could it at a regular con? <laughs> Major announcements was busy this year. Yeah, the new void spell effects look really good. We were looking at them earlier on the target dummies. Now we'll go back into shadow. And hop on to the flight path. <laughs> kind of excited that they announced being present at in-person events other than BlizzCon this year. Hasn't been at Gamescom for years at this point. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope that the those in-person events they talk about are, for lack of a better word, good, <laughs> um, and and kind of fill that BlizzCon void for a lot of people, especially people that um, can't travel as far as BlizzCon to get to BlizzCon. Like you know, it's always been in Anaheim, and for some people that's just like a, a short drive, and for other people that's like. A lot of planning, so doing doing some more global events seems like a good idea. The Earth and Dance with the Rasputin Dance, and it's awesome. Community event for the players. It, it's been a community event for the players that had the money to travel and to stay and to buy tickets and to and to coordinate everything. It's it's good, but it's definitely not. It's definitely never been something that's like been accessible by everybody. 
They did announce Legion, Legion at Gamescom. They absolutely did. It was in it was in the summertime. I remember. I remember Ian in his Legion shirt. Living at my never got to go. Most people don't leave their don't leave their states and countries and stuff. Personally, <laughs> we're bringing BlizzCon to you. We will be at your house in twenty minutes. I hope you have orders. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious to see what they do. Um, but I don't think it's going to uh, make or ruin the year for me either way. I I enjoyed Blizz. I I did I did like BlizzCon online. I enjoyed BlizzCon even though I wasn't there in person last year. I like the just the the event and the vibe of it. Um, but they'll they'll do their announcements when when they do. Hi, Winclaw Winclaw Leo. How are you doing today? I can't believe this is a ritual for every alpha character that I've made so far. It's just to make the pilgrimage back to Veldrak and to pay respects to the dragon the dragon glyph person. We will Hello. not repeat Excuse our history. Me. Thank you. <laughs> At least you have the glyphs. Imagine if you had to on alpha on each character ride around and get the um and get the, the glyphs from all over the Dragon Isles. That would be awful and extremely funny. I don't think that that should be that I, I'm not saying that they shouldn't do BlizzCon because not everybody can go. I'm just saying that the that them trying a version where they do smaller events in more places might make it accessible to more people because they don't have to travel as far. That's all. The vast majority of people are always going to watch online from home. Um, gathering herbs or minerals. Yeah, there we go. Won't an announcing new stuff at shows outside BlizzCon bring in a new audience? Before I started playing WoW, I had no idea what was going on because I wasn't tapped into the Blissphere, but I do watch a lot of gaming presentations. Hmm. That's a good that's a good point. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> we have I'm only tapped into the Blissphere. I'm not tapped into anything else. So I didn't I didn't even I didn't even think that there's that people might like. I feel like WoW is such an intimidating thing to try if you've never played it before but I guess there might be a lot of people that that have played it in the past and then taken like long breaks from it that if they saw what was new what new things were going on at um another convention they might they might have a look see and new people do get into it that's true got to hang out for longer today because I'm working on projects good morning good morning congratulations on your heroic Razageth kill last night I'm going here <laughs> in 2015 after 2017 they only ever had a merch shop and no stage at gamescom remember the legion announcement the hall was packed with people congratulations on your heroic razageth kill last night why thank you i had no faith i was um i am remembering rapidly as we've been writing again that i am useful for one hour and 45 minutes and then the last hour and 15 minutes i am hot trash <laughs> It's, it was so hard for me to just stay at my desk and, like, press buttons. Um, and I know that's, like, rating and it's gaming and it's like, oh, no, muffin, baby. Mm, how tough are you? Have a cookie. But, oh, we're in the ringing deeps. We are in a new zone. Wait, look, look here. Off and away. It was, it was hard. Taquitos carried us. It's okay. <laughs> Oh man, you painted such a vivid story of your sour cream emergency. I could, I could see it play by play. Uh, with dynamic flying, do fell steel annihilator another mech mount still have the annoying sway in flight? Let me see. See what it looks like with sky riding. Swaying a little bit. I don't know if that answers your question, but. <laughs> I imagine that if you're not sky riding the then the animation will be the same as it was previously. Much less, that's good. Hmm. Nice. Do I have nameplates turned all the way off? Nice. Oh 
always show. There we go. Fell steals what I'm farming now. Nice. Been out of the game for years, thinking of trying War Within. But after logging in for a while, I feel overwhelmed. The game feels bloated and confusing. Like a better new returning player experience. Yeah, it's it's definitely it's definitely evolved a lot. Maybe I'm just getting <laughs> creaky and and dusty and cobwebs, but I feel like it's getting to a point where I don't even keep up with like all the details of how how systems Ooh, there's a pet here. Hang on. Important. Um systems mechanics works for like I mean season four in particular, the current season the current endgame season. Um and with being able to like catalyze gear from outdoor sources and then having some of them be empowered week to week with the awakened thing. You could ask me any number of questions of like, if you can get tier from X, Y, Z thing, and I would have no answers for you. I'm figuring it out as I go. And I'm only figuring it out in as so far as it gets me to basically just the end of the um, Keystone master and then clearing three raids. And then I'm probably just going to be done. It's just, there's so many pokey specific rules that are true in most places, but not in all places. And it's, it's impossible to keep up with unless it's your full-time job. And if it is your full-time job, sometimes it's still impossible to keep up with. I'm getting this ebon plowworm. It's, it's gross and I need it. There's also a common plowworm. <laughs> you get tear yesterday. I got one more piece from the Awakened Mark of Mastery that you get from clearing the Raiden Haruk. Because I cleared the Raiden Haruk before I did Keystone Master, I got that free Haruk tier piece from that, traded that for a helmet, and I've catalyzed a piece as well. So I'm at three of four pieces now. And first thing next week I can catalyze, I've got some pants I can catalyze, and then, then I'll have four piece again. I'm looking forward to that. I feel like last night was our hardest raid night of the whole season because we were trying to clear the end of an awakened raid on heroic difficulty and we were trying to do it largely in last season's gear like nobody had bought anything with bullions yet because we didn't have a second one um most people didn't have new tier yet or were using like a funky mix of like old and new tier it's you know we didn't have we didn't really have the new stuff yet but we were still trying to clear the hardest content that we're going to within the season and we did kill it but um, I think that it'll get a lot easier next week and the following because of um, because of just like uh, gear creep and getting tier and then getting like trinkets and stuff. Maybe getting some crafted pieces upgraded. <laughs> Didn't notice the time. What have I missed? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We poked around. We made an earthen. Took a look at some Void Weaver stuff. We were talking about BlizzCon. Oh, I'm catching a plow worm. <laughs> it's gross and I like it. They should make it a lot more clear what can be catalyzed. Eliminate the catalyst to gear from vault activities. The fact that you can, it's the same catalyst that you can also use to catalyze previous tiers of stuff. It's great for transmog's sake, but it does get a little confusing when now some of those things are being bumped up to be relevant for the current season. If you were trying to get like a, I don't know, an old season transmog piece. It's just, it's all, I'm sure it all works and is possible to understand. I'm just, um, head empty, no thoughts, mushy noodle, can't do it. <laughs> Not, not, not caught up on that. I have a limited amount of things I can learn in a day and I'm capped for the week. It's sad going from being invited to groups because I have a decent item level of 475 to being regarded as trash because I have a horrible item level of 475. Yeah, the, the bump is, the bump is pretty significant. The good news is that you get real, you can get upgrades from like, um, random like heroics and from mythic zeros and whatnot, but yeah, it's a bit a bit spicy. There's there's more pets. I don't need them. I don't need them. Do I need them? I don't. Need them. Welcome to pugs. It's hell find a guild. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I hope I can do some dungeons with my guild at some point. I don't know when, but we did. I did everything on a two, and I was happy with that. If I could get through fives this week, and then fives next week, then my, my Mythic Plus season will be basically over in two weeks. I think my raid season is going to be over in three weeks, which will be perfect, because that'll be exactly the amount of time that I have before Panda Remix starts. And then I know life that, like I'm um, 17. Time Rift Gear catalyzes into Avarice Tier. Super weird. Mm. Time Rift Gear into... Yeah. It would have... <laughs> News to me. Forgot about the squish in the first day and keep getting rejected from plus twos. Like what? That I remembered. 
Eat some Jan's Dungeon time so I can get some Mayo, too. Yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. Today is Friday, and then after that is Sunday. It's it's just rough because I'm um, I'm both slammed and also not doing great. So my daily stamina bar is not super high, and I have a lot of stuff that I'm that I am trying to attempt to do. Um, do, 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 do. I talked to um, I got some help with understanding what it is I need to do with um with my my information to get to get my taxes kind of cleaned up and the good news is i think i understand what i need to do now and the bad news is it's an insane amount of work um, that i didn't understand last year so i hadn't done it properly so i have like a big backlog to catch up on um, and i need to just like find some time to do that and it's just really awkward timing on top of everything else yeah spoons are spoons are occupied they're in the dishwasher that i don't have try remix to start mop looks beautiful mm. I think Remix is a really good um, is a really good place to start too because there's not there's not really a way to do it wrong. You're gonna get cool stuff to play with just by leveling, and uh, I don't feel like there's gonna be like an oh no you've fallen <laughs> you've fallen behind and you can't do stuff now. I've I've speaking of falling behind I'm stuck. Can't you just move to a tax haven instead? Yeah, apparently apparently stuff can stuff can get kind of kind of complicated. Um, the accountant has kept me, but they can't, um, they can't, they don't have time to, they don't have time to actually do uh, the, 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 the lifting. Um, so if I want to, if I want to get my stuff sorted and I might, I might eventually look for like a professional bookkeeper or, um, or a different firm, but there's not a lot of people that, that even, that can handle this kind of stuff. And if I can learn how to do it properly and I can keep it super organized, it would be nice because then I won't be like losing things. I'll have a better understanding of what's going on with my money and and various. <laughs> I'm gonna know all kinds of different. Oh man, um, I'm in BC, but the the thorny part is that all of my different pay sources and there's a despite being not like a super famous streamer, there's quite a few different different ways I make money. Um, they all originate in the States in one way or another, and some of them are invoiced and some of them aren't. And because I'm Canadian and I'm in Canada and paying taxes in Canada now, I need not only the exchange rate when I was paid, but I also need to go back and figure out when the money was earned technically. And some of these in income sources have it last month, the, like the previous month, and some of them have it like two months behind, and some of them have it like two and a half months behind. And I need to go back and find all of those dates for each of those payments so I can figure out the foreign exchange rate gain or loss um, for each of them. And that's like every time that Twitch pays me or every time I get a tip or every time I sold a mug or you know there's like <laughs> it's it's um it's more of a project than i than i knew at the beginning so and because i didn't know that i would have to do that i have to go back and dig up a ton of records because i hadn't been keeping that information organized because i used to just be able to be like i made this much money and then pay taxes on it and i didn't have to go back and get all that information so it's just a new way of doing things that i now understand <laughs> But I think I might need to take like a bookkeeping class just to kind of figure out how to do things really cleanly so I don't make any more mistakes because it's an expensive place to make mistakes in. Um, yeah, I'm way way ahead of you, Saga. <laughs> we're 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 pretty we're pretty deep into that now. <sighs> mm. Yeah, Excel has has failed to meet my needs at this point. <sighs> business account with a bank that tracks all my business expenses yeah yeah there's all kinds of different ways of of handling it but there's no world in which it's not a bunch of um of homework so now at least i know what what i need to do i just don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> i i already put like two weeks into this doing it inaccurately because i didn't understand uh, like a fundamental piece of it so i have a bunch of information organized but it's not all the right information and i need to go find some more stuff Oh, it's always a lot. Yeah, it was easier. It was easier when I was earning money in the states and I lived in the states. That was a lot simpler. Um, it was still like hire an accountant worthy, but it wasn't like hire an accountant and then have a breakdown worthy. <laughs> um, dusty prospector's chest. But because all of this stuff is digital, um, I might eventually be able to contract somebody to do it. That's not local. Um, that's Canadian, but not necessarily. They don't have to be in town because uh because i can do all of this digitally so i might i might eventually get help although by the time i've pulled all those records most of the work is done anyways so i'm able to do all myself 
First time I've seen it outside an instance in War Within, so it looks pretty good. This is my first time seeing this. We're in the Ringing Deeps, and there's a prospector's chest in here somewhere. Red flag for personal hygiene, a dusty prospector's chest. <sighs> At least it's not hiring an accountant and both of you have a breakdown worthy. <laughs> that is true. Oh, man. Um, Self-employed, don't live in a different country than your work. That's not necessarily, that's not necessarily the, um, the, the takeaway. Oh, so I could open this if I had a rough deep diamond shard. A rough deep emerald shard, a rough deep amethyst shard, deep ruby, and deep topaz shard. Well, at least they've got a naming scheme. Earthen, have any silly jokes or emotes? Let me see. Options. Let's turn our dialogue sound up. Very good. Let's turn master sound up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and say no. <laughs> Nothing. Turn it back down. Yeah, there is software that can track stuff like that, but the trouble is that um, a lot of these things aren't invoiced, so. It's not like I, I just like if I there some of my stuff is invoiced and that's great because I have an invoice date. I have a receive date that I can grab from my bank transactions. That's like not that bad. It's when it's things that get auto paid that um, because in the States, apparently the way that it has been working and I'm not an expert expert on tax code, but the way that it had been working was that I would pay in a year. It would it would be basically taken based on when the money was paid and not when it was earned. And so I had all these, I have all these like annual forms that I had been working off of that aren't correct because the money might've been earned like two and a half months set back. Um, so something like Amazon Associates um, is, uh, is ugly because not only do I not invoice them, they auto pay, but um, they pay you like two and a half months late. And sometimes it's like, if you don't meet a threshold, it'll be kind of rolled over. So finding, like going, going back, the information does exist in the account, but like it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's exciting and fun. Um, the good news is I have a much better understanding of, uh, of where I, like I, before money kind of stressed me out. So I would make sure I had enough of it and I would make sure I had saved enough for things like emergencies and taxes and, and et cetera. Like I would, I wouldn't overspend my money. But I also wouldn't look at it too closely because it just stressed me out every time because it's scary and I avoid things that are scary to me. Um, sue me, I'm not that functional. Don't sue me, please. I can't deal with it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is, it's, it's making me look at stuff. Um, and eventually when I get all this done, I can, I can generate, um, I can generate statements and, and data and analytics that can maybe help me. I don't know, do something. <laughs> I'll have more information. Can't you just let it go, pay the fine instead? We don't, we don't, oh, I've turned sound up way too much. Yeah, no, we don't mess with that. We don't want to, we don't want to get into audit territory if we can avoid it. And if we do get into audit territory, we want to have everything organized for it. Um, sound. There we go. <laughs> Tips create extra work. We should definitely not tip you. Um, not what I'm saying. But I am gonna evaluate. Um, I am gonna. I'm gonna poke around and see if I can streamline and simplify some of these things because there are some things where there's like a lot of extra work because I made like four dollars off a mug <laughs> um, because because of the way that some of these accounts pay. It's just it gets really thorny really quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of housekeeping at some point when I'm. I don't know. <laughs> Can't do it today. I got a news video to make. Hmm. Better news, you have roof over your head, food to eat. That's what I keep telling myself is that I have, like, my rent is paid. Um, I have some savings, which is great. And, the like, not knowing, not being able to calculate the taxes you paid and money you earned is uh, stressful. But it's it's not as bad of a problem as not having earned any money and being hungry. Um, so I'm I'm very grateful that at least the the job is working. 
Um, and the other really, really nice silver lining is that it has been working well enough to meet my needs, even over the last couple of years when I've been really struggling mentally and I haven't been able to output as much. Um, it's not a secret that I've been making basically just like a news video and stream and, and then raid guides. And that's been it for like a couple of years. And it's comforting to know that even if that's all I can do, I would like to do more. But even if that's all I can do, I can live off that. And that's fine. Because um, I used to I used to really, really worry about that. So if I treat that as my baseline, then I'm no longer failing at everything. I'm just kind of trying to make it work. Hazel's hazeling. Could be worse. I have to pay taxes to two separate countries. That is stick sticky. If you need any help with how accounting works, you can always ask. Oh, thank you. If you do need to scrounge for food, you can pray to the creature you keep in your fridge that produces you bread. <laughs> It is actually a pretty cost-effective way to make bread, assuming that I can get good prices on flour. <laughs> pretty good. Was that supposed to be a secret? Uh, was what supposed to be a secret? Anything I tell you is not a secret, because I told you. <laughs> I would love to see more. Devour all your content for years now. Aww. I would love to make more. Um, I would, I would love to, I would love to make more. Especially when there's exciting new stuff coming out. I'm 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 working on I'm working on me, which I know sounds like a cop out, but if I can get me in a slightly more uh, comfortable and functional state, then maybe we'll have a little a couple extra spoons for some more videos. Oh, that you're only doing one video a week? Uh, no. I <laughs> know. Uh, I think there was still a person that lived in my head though that because ten years ago I used to make like three videos a week, um, or even five videos a week. Every time I like missed one, was still being like you're late. You didn't do it. You're late. Um, even though it's been a long time since I've been able to keep up that standard. When is Pokemon coming back to the story? <laughs> Working on yourself as an investment, though, for real. That's that's what I keep telling myself. Sometimes it's a financial investment. <sighs> it's just, it sucks because it's hard, but, it, you know. Not working on yourself is also hard, just in different ways. <laughs> Plenty of time to sort it out. I hope so. Sometimes I have the really morbid thought of if, um, if I just like perished at random, like like you know, like a like a freak accident or an aneurysm or something. Um, do I feel like I've lived my life well enough to not have regrets? And I think on one hand, if I perished randomly, I probably wouldn't have time to worry about it. <laughs> um, if I'm just, if I'm just gone like that because of like a, like I'm saying, not just like a, you know, how sometimes that kind of happens. Um, I don't think there would be a lot of time for reflection, but even if there was, I don't feel like I've done, I don't feel like I've done poorly. I have taken... Many naps with the kitty cat. I have I have done lots of wonderful um, playing and cuddling with the puppy dog. I have wonderful people that I've spent a lot of great time with. Um, I think that in the net sum of humanity, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm doing real good. I don't feel like I've I don't feel like I've like wasted my time or anything. Um, what is going on up here? Inner earthen. There we go. Watched anything fun recently? Um, I heard a good story f from my mom about seeing a pair of raccoons making new raccoons. <laughs> we told my nephew that they were hugging. <laughs> Read any good books lately? I'm getting towards the end of, um, of Soul Music, which is one of the Discworld novels. I'm enjoying it, but I'm having a tough time because I've been sleeping really poorly and I've been like just reading little scraps of it when I like wake up at three in the morning because I can't sleep. And uh, I haven't been able to just, like, put, like, longer than 15 minutes into it at a time. <laughs> um, uh-oh. Disconnect. What level are you? I want to say 71. Best thing I've watched lately is follow. I've heard good things about that.
Uh, how are the new hero talents? Yes, we're well, talking about aneurysms. They seem fun. They seem really good. Oh yeah, she's 73. Um, I think that it's it's just caught me up there for the sake of questing, though. I don't think I, I leveled that way. On the uh, on my own. We had a raccoon visit us last night, just the one. And it was only making more raccoon in the sense that he was munching on leftover bird seed. <laughs> nice. Uh, it is a good show in an interesting setting. Can you show the earth and racial background? Yeah, here. Let's just log out and take a look at it. Um, I'm gonna take a short break anyway, so I can uh, I can pop it on the screen and go go AFK real quick. Have you felt that it's too cavey like loam? Does it feel open enough? It feels pretty. It feels it feels not. It doesn't feel like loam to me. Uh, it doesn't feel like the zero like caverns. I don't. You're not bumping into the ceiling, flying around. Uh, it it doesn't seem to want to show it to me. I don't think it's properly implemented yet. The earthen background. It was kind of there. Hang on, let me. So when you're when you're looking at earthen, and you're customizing them, no, that's just in the stormwind background. I know it was, it was like flashing on for like a second, but I don't think I. This is how you would do it, and it's just it's just pulling me to the login screen because there's Barnaclus, and that just pulls me to the character creation screen. <sighs> All right, let's uh, stick her back in. It's on Wowhead. Oh, there you go. So your warband is just all of your characters in your account. Um, you can only have four of them on that little campfire scene, but that is just that is just cosmetic. I am gonna take a short break. Thank you. I don't mean to brag, but my dog is so cute. <laughs> he is so sweet. He's sleepy, and when he's sleepy and you pet him, he just kind of like snuggles into you, and he's a big, big sleepy baby and I can just go take a nap okay so peculiarly enough I've lost some action bars here <laughs> there we go at least they're still there they just disabled Helm's very I have Sora no sleeping gnomes and BRB listen <laughs> one day I'm gonna catch up on everything in my life I'm gonna give my whole stream a makeover. I'll, I'll, I'll animate some new gifts for the alerts. I'll get some new sounds. We'll, we'll do something fun with a BRB screen. It'll be great. You know, look forward to it in five to seven years. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm turning on my nameplates for permanent nameplate. Always show. There we go. Maybe a nice little reload to save that setting can't do the BRB screen. I could record a new intro um, and then the question would be do I deploy it ASAP or do I deploy it um oh ah piece of lip balm broke off yeah, nobody wants lip. nobody likes that <laughs> you don't want to eat it um do would I deploy it like when the pre-patch when pre-patch comes out when the expansion actually comes out you know what what's up buttercup Oh, I thought this was a person, that's an NPC. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> it's good. And then of course we still need moose motes. Moose emotes. I need them to be perfect. I need them to have have his half up, half down floppy ears. Mm. What are we doing? Does it matter? Retrieve brasses brass knuckles. It's echoey in here. Yeah, I was worried as well about having a big underground underground expansion. And it's true that you have kind of, you know, stalac stalactites or stalagmites or, you know, a little bit of both. But the the vertical space seems big enough that plus the you have greenery. <laughs> like you have ferns and stuff grown down here. I don't know what the logic is. Um I guess there is like there are probably little beams of sunlight coming down from somewhere. These are all just really low light friendly plants. Black hole looking ability. Hmm. I wonder if it was uh, my entropic rift. 
take a look here. There's a few things going on. Hang on, there's a rusted lever. Oh, I'll go take a look at that. <laughs> Sphere thing for the new talents? Here, let me see. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use Void Torn. That should trigger the Entropic Rift. And yeah, that's the Entropic Rift. That's a that's a Void Lever talent thing. I love the echo. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay. Pass out flyers to tired workers. An opportunity to relax. We're trying to drum up business at our exclusive resort. <laughs> opportunity point. Oh, man. All right. So pretty. Looks so cool. I love the new Void Torrent. I think the new Void Torrent looks amazing. Rust and Redemption. A rusty lever catches your eye, stubbornly stuck in its place. This thing hasn't moved in ages. Quote, you muse as you've... What? <laughs> Why is this quest putting thoughts in my head? Why is there dialogue for my thoughts in this quest text? What in the, what in the, what in the, what in the, excuse me? <laughs> Glancing around, you note the oily sheen on the plant-like crawlers. Perhaps a bit of natural lubricant would do the trick, you ponder, realizing that these flora foes might yield what you need to ease the lever's grip. What's happening? <laughs> Is it just me or is that really weird? <sighs> um, I have not played Dungeons and Dragons. I've played a little bit of Baldur's Gate. Um, I don't know. I don't like this dialogue being assigned to my character in thoughts with descriptions like Ponder. It's just, it's just strange. <laughs> thing hasn't moved in ages. Be called thing. <sighs> but uh, I don't think it's going to bug me too much because if we're honest, it's not like I read quest text very often. <sighs> Inksy is pondering. Deal with it. This thing hasn't moved in ages. <laughs> I feel like once upon a time, and I'm just be I'm being like annoying. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's totally fine. I don't have a problem with it. Although apparently I do. But I feel like once upon a time, it would have been just like, this lever is rusted and looks like it hasn't moved in ages. Perhaps some lubricant from the nearby things would unstick it. And that would be the quest text. And, and that would make me less uncomfortable. <laughs> we have been quite dead inside forever. I don't know. Dialogue and like fit thought dialogue in hard quotes. If I want inner monologue, I'll monologue it myself, <laughs> right? Net Rubric, thank you for the uh, brand new sub. Appreciate it. I'm so sorry. I've I've ruined your name. I'm sure. <laughs> I think she's like a bug about the dialogue style. No, it's bad enough that I'm complaining about it now because somebody wrote that. Somebody somebody sat down and typed that out on purpose. And that's their job, and they're I'm I'm not here I'm not here to tell them they're not doing it right. It's just a different style for quest text that's kind of freaking me out. I think. Fun fact: It's German. <laughs> if you end up dying, you have to check if you leave rocks instead of a skeleton. Twitter would never lie to me. Should we die just for science? I don't have a problem with that. Let me go get into trouble with a with a thing. Have I had? Oh no, I've been I've been auto living. It's Santa Claus. Oh. That's something I never would have guessed. All right, under drip crawler. You can win this one. Maybe I should pull another one. Anything else want to participate in my murder? <laughs> Here, we'll turn our back. That'll help. Or I'll click off my fort buff. <sighs> Hi. Not really. But related. Oh. Another science experiment. It's Santa's assistant who punishes children who were bad. <sighs> oh. Alpha Sherlock for feedback. Mm. 
I think the reason I'm hesitant to give feedback is it's not a gameplay choice. It's a creative choice. And I I don't think that as a consumer, I feel like for, for creative choices, it the, the, the power should be with the person who is creating. I think for like system stuff and bug reports and stuff, of course, that's something that we should all give feedback on. But like, I don't know. Art is so subjective that I feel like trying to crowdsource crowdsource making it making it good is is kind of detracts from the vision um and just because i don't like the vision doesn't mean it's the wrong vision it just means i don't like it <sighs> santa related i guess mm. um i forgot to go look at my body how do i find where it was <laughs> i totally forgot i guess i could die again um don't mind me there were rocks it is stones there was a tiny rock pile. Okay, I want to see it this time, so I'm going to do it again. I, I missed it. I was too busy thinking about Santa Claus and, and how his assistant apparently punishes children. What do they do? <laughs> so it would be before I release, right? Or maybe after I release? I'm closer to the spirit healer, so maybe if I remember where I am. Kind of the top left side of this big rock. After you revive. Okay. Now that we're on Santa, how do naughty children get punished in your mythology? Um, theoretically, he gives them coal instead of gifts. Um, in practice, that's never happened to anybody that I actually knew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Coal in your stocking. In Germany, they get beaten with a cane. Do they get beaten with a cane and then given their original presence? Where are rocks? I have friends who got cold would come to school upset after break. Oh. If you're very cold, cold might be useful. Yeah, depending on fuel prices, cold might not be bad. No presents, just beatings. You have to res. Oh, it does turn you into rubble. In Netherlands, you get beaten with a stick and then kidnapped to Spain. <laughs> yeah, here lies Lazuli. Oh, there's there's her there's her foot. That's great. And also like kind of grim. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop getting my character killed on purpose here. I want to hand out flyers for this for the spa. <laughs> Wish all allied races got the same treatment as Earth. Oh, all right. The lever remains immovable. It's secret, locked tight without the crawler extract. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Thanks for dying for our curiosity. The foot is unsettling. Mm. More grim than seeing someone's bones. Yeah, actually, now that you mention it. Also, what's happening? Why am I on a loading screen? I didn't have a chance to look around. Why am I in Stormwind? The area ahead is dangerous. Turn back. <laughs> um. Excuse? <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to go up there yet. All that crawler mucus for nothing. What brings you here? Maybe we're not allowed to see it up there yet. Do you ever feel like you're babysitting your own bones? Like, you know how you have a skeleton inside? Sorry, I know today's kind of grim. You know how, like, inside your body there's, like, bones? Because that's how they, that's how it works. That's what they're for. Um, and you know how, like, in in the future, depending on how your body is handled, if you get cremated or whatever, you know, your bones might remain for some time. And in that version of time, there's, like, they're an object in the world. But for however many years you get to live, you get to, like, take them around with you everywhere. You can't lose them. They're with you. You can break them, but you shouldn't. <laughs> Take care of your bones, kids. Make sure you eat enough food and something, something. Talk to your doctor. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Can't relate. I'm immortal. <laughs> but sometimes I think that I'm like the custodian of a skeleton because apparently they're expensive, right? Like if you were going to buy like a real human skeleton, not that I've tried, 
Um, but like for a medical research or whatever, supposedly that's like an expensive thing to to acquire. So, you know, I'm I'm the proud owner of like a pretty expensive skeleton. I just get to bring it around everywhere. <laughs> oh, all right, we're handing out flyers for Is it just me or does she not wear the she, I mean, I don't not, I'm not saying you need a shirt. But, you know, shrapnel. <laughs> Chips. <laughs> she is topless. I wonder if that's. I wonder if we're uh, if we're doing that on purpose or if we just haven't gotten to developing shirts yet. <laughs> I mean, their undergarments are built right into them. I don't think it's particularly obscene. Uh, I'm still handing out flyers. My duties have been taxing of late. Sounds good. Can I see his goggles? That's pretty cool. What can I do for ya? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Council wards clerk. I wonder what she's gonna be for. <laughs> she's wearing that boulders outlook. <laughs> Hi, would you like to go to the spa? You can tell you can that easily that tell. I need a break. Now, do we think the tired worker is saying that sentence like that? Oh, a dungeon key. See, look, it did pop his DPS. Um, because she's tired and we're accurately portraying, you know, misplaced words, word salad in because of exhaustion. Or is this just like a proofreading thing? <laughs> She tired brain no worky. Yeah, my my word maker absolutely uh tanks out. <laughs> Goes on vacation uh when I'm when I'm tired or stressed or both. When you get when it gets when it gets gnarly, I can just say my own name like a Pokemon. <laughs> See, she gets a shirt. She gets kind of a fire shirt that's like got got crenellated never mind. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <sighs> Just a casual pop star. Is this Alpha 73? Uh I don't know. I I am 73. I'm getting experience. They might be able to let me get to 74 looks comfy. McTaser2, thank you for the 52 month resub. It doesn't seem like I've been watching your streams for that long. Time really flies. Looks comfy. I mean, I've heard of needing support before, but normally it's um, normally it's on the underneath from gravity, not so much on the top to stop them from flying away. <laughs> unless you're unless you're working out, in which case you need them locked down from every angle possible just to keep them from flying away. Anyone know if I can use a 70 boost in a normal Draenei? Still got the Heritage Jammer next patch. I want to say no, but my confidence in my in my knowledge is not good. Yeah, I think I think that is like the last thing that is left in the in the the world of needing of like requirements for getting Heritage Jammer is like leveling it and not boosting it. How is Alpha so far? It's cool. It's cool. I'm uh I'm enjoying it so far. It's my first day seeing this new zone. This is the ringing deeps. I want to try. I bet there's new delves in here somewhere. I bet if I keep going, we'll get to them. <laughs> what are you talking about? Could you elaborate? No. Where is the new continent? Something something ocean. Something off of Pandaria somewhere it's not on the map right now it's uh they they haven't they haven't poked it down anywhere here yet but someone said where it was in a lore interview of some description there's another dusty prospector's chest they haven't cartographied it yet
I did boost a tour and I could swear I was given the heritage arm request automatically. Mm. Uh, I like my UI like this. It's nested to the left against where my camera shows in my stream. It works for me. Uh, this expansion is coming out this year. It is coming out before the end of this year. Uh, possibly as early as like late summer. We already started our final Dragonflight season, so <laughs> development's chugging along. I think there's something wrong with his oven. <laughs> hope you're doing wonderful. Hi. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing well too. Mm. The ringing death slain. I do like dragon riding on the horses. <laughs> need to unbind uh whatchamacallit are you in the pipe it's in the computer oh no he's on the bottom of it okay <laughs> wait a second what do you mean not in my line of sight he's right there Maybe I'll try from over here. Hello? Excuse? Yeah, they're just like, hey, there's a big thing. Can you kill it? Oh, all right. That is a... Is there an issue tracker for that particular... I guess we just do it with this. There's no world in which they want me to go into the pipe. They didn't say anything about it. <sighs> I think you gotta swirl it down. Let's try it. Except that um, I don't know any of my keybinds. Whoa. Yeah, no. <laughs> Into the pipe like Mario. <sighs> Here, yeah, let's try rolling surge in a horse. I think they just like zoom really fast. I think they just kind of zoop. Oh, no, never mind. They do spin. <laughs> they do absolutely barrel roll. That's pretty funny. Uh, I can't use any combat abilities on it. It doesn't, it's out of line of sight. <sighs> Nothing more nerve wracking than applying for random premates to rate and terrified. Oh, it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be, it'll be all right. I know that can be super stressful. I used to get so like sweaty and twitchy when I when I used to do that. Man. When I first the first time I ever like applied to a guild to raid with them was like the most nervous I may have ever been playing WoW. Almost anyway. Definitely top three. Just like, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. <laughs> don't make them regret this. Let's 
So this is looking for brass knuckles. Retrieve Brax's brass knuckles. I lost it clearing basilisks on the town skirts. Oh, so maybe it just drops from a black basilisk somewhere. All right, question. Can these mudskippers come out of the water? Yeah! <gasps> oh my word. Look at this thing. Look at him. Hang on. Once he's done blowing bubbles, he's going to come right over here. <laughs> I've heard they are tameable. I love it so much. I thought it was just going to flop along. I didn't know it had arms. That's incredible. Yeah, they're beasts. That's amazing. I'm, I'm pulling another one out. Come over here. And what, 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 what. <laughs> they come in purple color too. This is not Dragonflight. This is the War Within Alpha. Is everyone going to name it Muddy? <laughs> uh, we do know what the herbs and ore are called, or at least the herbs. Pretty sure the ore as well. And they do have three ranks. Materials have the same the same three ranks as Dragonflight once did. I was getting copper quality uh copper quality herbs when I was herbing on my other character. I don't even think these things are quest mobs for me right now. I just really like uh Oh. Sorry, bud. Oh my gosh, his death animation is so extra! I'm sorry, bud, but I need to see it again. <laughs> I wonder if your pals has to die. Come on down here. I could watch this thing do stuff all day. This is the death animation. Isn't that brutal? Oh, I feel like that one didn't twitch for as long. I wonder if the first one like played it twice or if I was just looking at something else. It was twitching for like a long time. <laughs> oh, there's a rare over here. The horse whirling is really funny to me. Wow, nothing's dropping me any loot. <laughs> Do it again. Turn all loot back on, but it doesn't change the fact that I still wasn't seeing any loot. I also, they said they were clearing basilisks. These aren't basilisks; these are moles. Uh, there's still one priest talent tree that's missing that we haven't seen yet. We've seen Oracle for Holy, and we've seen Oracle, and we've seen Void Weaver, but we have not seen Archon yet, which is shared between, um, I think, Shadow and Holy actually. Uh, you see the Warlock tier set. I saw the the little thumbnail that Wowhead had. It looked pretty cool. It looked it looked very um very eye catching, unique. From the terrace, is there another place where there might be more mobs? Like another vertical level, perhaps. I made some post saying Archon would be based around Halo. Oh. Here, should we look at the should we look at the warlock set? Actually, there's no world in which. No, they'll have our 
actually they're not all implemented here that's kind of cool with the shoulders whoa Gundurga's renowned three piece And that's just a mirror soul stuff. Uh, let me pull up that wow head post. <laughs> All right, it was a warlock early season one warlock tier set model preview. Latest alpha build. We've data mined an early preview. Uh, set bonus is unavailable yet, and this may not be finished. Both a robe and a pant version of the tier set. The helm spell effect features a continually searching demonic eye of Kilarog. It is currently missing shoulders and waist, so stay tuned for updates. Hang on. Is that the whole video? Oh, that's kind of cool. Little twitchy twitchy. <laughs> now you can be the walking eye of Sauron. That's pretty cool. I feel like um demon hunters have for a while had kind of the um the dibs on having your pecs out. It's nice for the clothies to get to get in there. And then uh, there's a there's so there's pants and robe. It looks a bit a bit strange with pants because like You've got kind of like the half hip skirt on the back of them. Um, this is giving, this is giving Cirque du Soleil <laughs> been hitting the gym. The red one's really nice. But there's a, yeah, so on a, on a body type two, on a female body, you've got the, um, you've got like a little kind of crop top that goes with it. Like a halter cropped up. <laughs> I love it. I need it immediately. See, hers doesn't bother me as much with the pants. I wonder if it's just because um because of the way their body proportions are. Hmm. Cause yeah, you've got the extra layered piece regardless. Honestly, I feel like shoulders are gonna kinda ruin it. <laughs> I know that um also, uh, also, never mind. I feel like shoulders are going to kind of ruin it. I know you could like hide them whenever they do come out with shoulders, but I feel like it doesn't need them at all. <sighs> Looks like she tied a sweatshirt around her. <laughs> yeah, my favorite <laughs> way to wear clothes. <sighs> yeah, that's cool. That's really nice. I don't play a warlock, but um, hopefully I can get a lookalike to wear on wearing, wearing a priest. Clothy characters, that's good. I saw another headline that I hadn't seen yet. Hmm. Feed and chance, bronze bullions, damage and healing issues in Awakened Raids. I just want to know about this. Currently working through two sets of issues with combat throughput and logging. Spells doing less damage than intended. Second is a bug with locking values. Oh yeah, Vampiric Touch was busted. Oh, okay. It was just displaying higher than intended healing amounts in both UI and combat log. Okay. The healing being done is correct. It was just a logging and UI issue. Gotcha. All right. So it wasn't actually busted. It just looked busted. That's funny. All right. <laughs> All right. So I think I'm going to give up on trying to find those brass knuckles because those were not happening. Maybe we can go tell the people that we handed out all their flyers for their spa. <laughs> I hope they make the best colorway. I love our only like they did with the season two priest tier set. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Should we start preparing for large crowds? Is this where the spa is? Because that's hilarious. I've got some repairs to do on my ride. You should go to Opportunity Point and check it out. Oh, okay. This isn't the spa. This is a... This is just a ride. Is that the spa? It's really far, but I want to go see. Also, maybe I can turn view distance up. Let's see if I can do this without tanking my my stream because it looks a little, a little foggy in the distance oh ah i clicked off shadow for mid-flight so that i wouldn't have the big um 
the big smoke clouds and I absolutely uh and it made my made my horse fall wax encrusted object binds to warband scrape off the wax to uncover what is within nobles and gundargas may be interested in this or clean off a layer of wax to reveal it so I guess you could turn it in for rep or you can scrape off wax and get well in this case a wax carving of a candle 50 gold and the flavor text says but why <laughs> Uh, I play on Lightbringer North America. You should probably bug report that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I've missed a reference. Hmm. Uh, dragon riding for mounts will come in the pre-patch. Should be in the pre-patch. Oh, I got, I got, I got bracers, but they're not better than the ones that I have on. Oh, when you click off shadow form, you fell. Oh, okay. I thought you meant about the, about the, um, yeah, you're right. About the, the wax carving of a candle. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure they're meant to do that. Uh. Pardon me. Sky riding. Not even Dragon Plate Season 2. I wouldn't worry too much about the numbers just yet. Um, oh, no, we didn't make it, we didn't make it to the spa just yet. Here, let's see if it happens again. Although, the animation was getting, was acting a little wonky. Can I loot that? A Kaja Cola machine? <laughs> They're back. Have you seen this? Okay, there's the AFK machine. The AFK screen. <laughs> That's incredible. It's a Kasha Cola machine. <laughs> it's a vending machine. What's AFK about this? Well, what if you go AFK to grab a drink and then there's a drink dispensing machine on the screen? Huh? Okay, all right. Purchase Oyster Outbreak. We've got four flavors. <laughs> We've got four flavors of Casha Cola. The top one says five silver. Oyster, it's an outbreak here and an outburst here. The flavor text is the sweet, salty aroma of a fish market, but carbonated this time. Um, this is the important issues. <laughs> All right, five silver for Mangoro Madness. Gives Mangoro Mania. Okay, never mind. I guess the button doesn't correspond directly to the name of the drink. Uh, this is for Bluesberry Blast, and it gives you a Bluesberry Blast, and then Orange Apocalypse. Oh. All right. Well, maybe the Mango Mangoro Mania button. Mangoro Madness. Uh, the real issues here. <sighs> um, what do all these things do? Oh, they're just vendors. <laughs> they're, it's just vendor touch. It's just for fun. Uh, you buy them for five silver, and you can sell them for two silver fifty. 
they don't bind at all. So these are things that you should purchase and then give to your friends in raid. <laughs> Just trade them. Uh, so our flavor text, the oyster outburst was sweet, salty aroma of a fish market, but carbonated. The Mangoromania is tropical, breezy, and with just a hint of industrial byproduct to round out the flavor profile. Bluesberry Blast says the bluesberry tastes like blue dye, mostly. And Orange Opocalypse has the flavor text declaring, hold on, why isn't it orange? <laughs> That's great. What else is there in here? I'm having fun. Uh, Clive Delgando, welcome to Delgando's. Need any snacks for the road? And I can ask him what's with the stuffed duck wearing shoes, which before I ask about, I need to locate. Where is there a stuffed duck wearing shoes? He's got his own. He's got his own drink on a chair next to him. That's that's my guy. Uh, up on the shelf behind him. Oh. Oh, shoe duck. Duck with shoes. I expected it to be cuter. <laughs> Uh, all right. I'm asking, what's with the stuffed duck wearing shoes? Shoe duck is not for sale. <laughs> okay. Where did it get the shoes? The shoe duck is not for sale. <laughs> okay, I'm not letting this go. Okay. <laughs> that has to be like an inside joke from from like somebody, right? <gasps> Look at the innkeeper. Does this hurt? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's an elemental. Oh, he's in the fire. You know what this reminds me of is that Disney Pixar movie with the 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 fire girl and the water boy that fall in love. Um, elemental. <laughs> reminds me of it just a teeny tiny little bit. Uh, although I didn't set the inn as my home, and now the guy's gone. He went up the chimney? Question mark. <laughs> Are you coming back? He is coming back. Um, his name is Ferno. Taskrin code. Taskrin. Yeah, he's got his own language. Make this in? Question mark. Your home? Do you want to make camp <laughs> your new home? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Alamancy vibes from the new Earth and Rachel. I mean, a little bit. You're eating gems and not metal. But yeah, I, I, I can see it. <laughs> Where are we? What else? What else is going on in here? Oh yeah, that was just the Cachacola mission. <laughs> I wonder if any of those Cachacolas are needed for like secrets or anything, or if they're really truly just for fun. Oh hi, kitty cat. How you doing? She got tired of me tossing and turning last night, and she went to go sleep on her bed on the floor. <laughs> she normally sleeps with me, but she had enough of my uh, she had she had enough of my my whirlwind. Welcome to Opportunity Point. You got a drink ticket coming right up. Mm. <laughs> Goblin vacationers. This is the spa? This... <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, I'm not even disappointed, but that's pretty funny. Alright, let's look at the attractions. We have uh, Party and Goblins. Uh, they've got cards that they're playing. They're playing a card game that seems distinct from Hearthstone. Uh, we've got lots of big mugs of brew. Zone giving Nagitar vibes. Yo, her glasses are everything. <laughs> um, the coconut drink looks good. It's got a little umbrella. It's got a little straw. It's carbonated? you never seen the male goblin dance before? He is absolutely doing Soldier Boy and then she's doing single ladies. Listen, goblins came out in like, what, 2012? Something like that? It was... 
Or, or it was already kind of old by then, but. Or was it 2010? Because it was Cataclysm, right? 2000, yeah, 2009, 2010? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, mind you, I think Soldier Boy had its moment in like 2008. Oh, what else is going on at this spa? Anything? Uh, Earth and Dances are. Uh, I can show you the I can show you the female one. Mm. All right, what else we got going on here? Are you barbecuing? Oh, he's barbecuing. He's grilling. <laughs> he's grilling a fish. He's got a burger and he's got a fish. The fish looks like it knows what's happened to it. It's got like a big battery on it. He's got a chef's hat. Is he flipping them? I can't quite tell what that implement's supposed to be doing. He's also grilling the burgers in... Hang on. I'm sorry. This is the, this is the important thing. So he's got a burger in front of a bun that has a fish in it. And then he has another burger in a bun on the grill with a separate patty next to it. <laughs> what are you cooking? I guess maybe the point is that um, this, this is not a very nice place to stay. <laughs> uh, no, the joke and flirt lines are not in. Um, he's fanning the flames. He's keeping them warm. But why are they assembled? This fish is going to leak juice all over that bun and we all know it. Uh, what's going on over here? Uh, this is an engineering vendor. Okay. Um, and then, and then I think we're into, into, there's, there's boss spark shot. This is the, um, this is what you want to see at your spa. Uh, welcome to the opportunity point extraction operation herb resort and spa. I see it's a front. Uh, what are you doing here? We found this place conspicuously unoccupied. There's a couple of well-dressed statues. They ain't saying nothing and we ain't asking questions. <laughs> Speaking and not asking any questions. Alrighty. Well, that makes more sense. <laughs> the entire fish in the burger. Kitty, you looking for pets? Yeah. Nothing left to do in retail? Um... No, I just uh, I wanted to I wanted to make sure I checked out the new alpha stuff. I have we've we we're done with Vault of the Incarnates, <laughs> so we got to clear Abarus and then a Mirdrasil next week and the week following. I want to get my Keystone Master and then I have nothing left to do. Get behind the desk. I'm sorry. Squish the grubs. By grubs, do we mean are there bugs? Or are we talking about employees? The quest is called Papers, Please, which is a, a reference. Okay, check credentials. Keep an eye out for corporate sabotage. Call in the occasional airstrike. All right. Let's <laughs> call more people over. None of them want to come. Oh, you've got papers. Okay. Well, well, you're not troublemaking. You're, you've got the best documentation money can buy. Um, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing with this quest. Do I call them over and then call in an airstrike? No. It says grubs. I don't understand what they want me to do here. Arriving prospectors. They seem really unfazed by the airstrike. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. Because some of them come over to the desk. It doesn't seem to do anything.
Um, I haven't played Papers, Please. And that should be a requirement for figuring out how to do this quest. I am leaving this desk. Yeah, what else we got? Oh, there's a timekeeper. We can try a race. Maybe. Possibly. I like how it's still a dragon. <laughs> Even though we're, we're no longer beholden to them. <laughs> what other things do you say? I think those are still Dragon Isles lines. Stand firm in your duty. Yeah, I, I bombed them after they after they didn't give papers. That didn't do anything either. We tried that. I hope they changed the NPC to a dwarf. <laughs> At least I think I tried that. There also wasn't any like tooltip indicator that said that that was good. It, I saw something about grubs. I just think it's not done yet. I don't think that one's my fault. Well. I kind of wish it had let me stay on the on the mount that I was on before. I want to do these on like a horsey. <laughs> I also wish my dungeon queue had popped. Actually, I don't even know if I'm in queue anymore. These seem fine. This is just the normal difficulty, so it's not super hard or anything. Hmm, we got gold. These quests seem a little bit, on the whole, less functional than the the Isle of Dorne quests. I'll go back up north and I'll try more of them, but it seems like we're running into more things that aren't quite finished yet. Do we need to get Glistenor within to get the sky riding skills? No. Not as far as I've seen yet. I'm not in queue anymore. Bomber. I wonder what happened. I wonder if it was one of the relogs. Because it's 11 o'clock. Almost. Nearly. What would you say is the worst part of the Dragonflight meta? Has to be either... And I mean, because I'm finished, it's all fading away to me. But it's got to be either Scroll Hunter or... The collecting the colors of the... The Hunt Companions. The name of it's escaping me. But that one's hard because it's just super, super RNG. Hmm. Impression about non-battle game systems? They seem mostly the same. Um, they seem mostly the same. The biggest change to those has been the new profession thing they're doing with ingenuity instead of inspiration. And I mainly know about that from the post that they wrote and not necessarily from... Uh... Squish the grubs! Yeah, I think that has to do with papers, please. I think... I think... Uh... I think that one broke. Do you fish IRL often? Not lately. I want to. I haven't been. Oh, hey. I haven't been able to get out. I've been uh, having a hard time finding time, but I do enjoy it. Right now it's fishing holes because they won't rotate. That does suck. I've seen the last one since it came out five days before it switches. Mm. Had fun grinding for the meta, unlike Shadowlands meta, which is really boring. I I think I enjoyed both of them. I think they were both kind of fun. Okay, new dungeon. Um, oh, let's see. Wait, no, I had bars. <laughs> no, I set up my bars and I lost them when I disconnected. Also, two people are offline, so I think I have a second to work on it. Three people are offline. Everybody's offline except for me. That's foreboding. Although, if I'm just going to disconnect, I don't know if there's a point to me trying to fix this. I 
um, speed speed bars. Close enough. That'll do. All right, reloading. <laughs> it's funny. I'm the only person that didn't disconnect. Uh, do we have palm? Palm's important. There we go. And then levitate might come in handy. Uh, do we have talents done here? Yeah, I don't know why it's just extra points. I think that's just kind of like a bug. Oh, I need mouse over. Mouse over cast. Can't play without it. All right, we're in a new dungeon. Let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm actually just very pleased that I've managed to speed run my <laughs> my bars that quick. I'm pretty happy with that. Can I get my levitate macro back? So the yellow one was a general healing done and over healing redistributed. The the time one is reduced cooldown. So we'll use that. And then we'll do some stuff that has a cooldown ish. And then the blue one is, I think, a single target healing buff for premonition. Because you'll notice that the button on my three bar is rotating every time I cast. That's the main oracle mechanic. It's not as bad as the old PI one was, but or at least looked to be. But I wouldn't say that I'm super happy about it. <laughs> do I have a big uh, thing on my head like I like I did before? I do. I've got the oracle eye. Good morning. Last night, someone randomly whispered me to come get ANX. He was up. They already had them out. That's awesome. Congratulations on your new mount. That's a tricky one to get to. Dead mines. Yeah, we are in the dark flame cleft. We have four bosses. I've never been in here. We're going to fight Old Waxbeard, Blazicon, probably an elemental, the Candle King, who better be a kobold, and the darkness. Here's old Waxbeard. He's a kobold. On a, on a mole rat. Oh, where's um? Hang on. Oh, mine guards. Although it seems like you could just not stand in the minecart. Seems like that's not that hard. And he's dead. This is a leveling normal, so we're not expecting it to be super challenging. I thought the Candle King was the final boss of the raid. Blazicon's one of my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. That would have been a good moment for my... <laughs> fancy levitate icon. Um, I saw a debuff, but I dispelled it before I could read it. I should probably read it. Mm. Kitty's being real sweet. She's purring. Oh, it's just a dot. It's just called. It's just a magic dot. That's kind of a cool model. That little, that little waxy candle guy. <laughs> I like that. I need to take a better look at that. Uh, we did some delves last week. I haven't tried any in this new zone. I'd like to find some. That would be kind of cool. How do you find elves? Uh, so far on accident. <laughs> I think ultimately because they have fixed locations, we'll just know where they are. Um, there will be like a wowhead poster of you know, Hazel video or something that's like, here are where they, here are the different delves. 
The last zone had at least two of them. I'm glad I got to got in to see one of these dungeons though. So I thought Blazicon was gonna be an elemental, and he is an elemental. But he's not just like your your everyday generic fire elemental. <laughs> we have some serious candle-based NPCs going on here. Yeah, the beer and the blue hippogriff dungeons were the were the two that were tested in the last week of Alpha. Uh, we have a new build this week that has a new zone and two new dungeons to test. And the other ones have rotated out. Torch snarl. One hand headlock. That's terrifying. He's like a quill bore, almost. I can't wait to see what these dungeons feel like on keys. That's a cool interface. I don't know what it means. I don't have any debuffs to go off of here, but <laughs> it's neat. Suit Snout's flaming tether? No. Maybe. I don't know. I'm sure it'll be in the in, in the journal somewhere. Uh, follower dungeons are not testable yet. And it's candle king time. So they've made molds of us with wax. Should I, should I drop this on something? Targeted for dark flame. What if I... Sorry. Drop it on the warlock too. Um, doing that melted the candles. Or maybe the candles just melted anyway? No, doing that melted them for sure. Was that a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, we've seen the we've seen the new earth and dances. They're pretty cool. Oh, we got a minecart. Darkness cannot be destroyed, only defeated, and then he comes back. <laughs> what is this bar on the minecart? It's going down. Is it speed? Wax? Light? No, we've refilled it. Somehow. <laughs> We're escorting the payload. I wonder what refilled it last time, if it was just hitting a checkpoint? Because it's it's refilled again. You have took candle. Cause wouldn't adding extra wax onto an existing candle not help because you still burned the wick down? <laughs> There's a corridor creeper model that's like a male muncher. Reminds me of Vault of the Wardens. Yeah. So when you're in the darkness, you get a debuff. Damage and healing done reduced by 99%. So you need to stay in the candlelight. Otherwise you can't do any damage or healing. Checks out. Uh, opinions on whether to adopt a puppy or a one to two year old dog if you're going to be a first time dog owner soon. Each one is its own, comes with its own challenges and joys, I would say. Um, there's not really a right or a wrong answer. Puppies are menaces to society. <laughs> Speaking of somebody that has one. Um, And an older dog could be a lot more kind of calm and adjusted and already knows the basics already. But um, 
depending on the background and and any conditions and history that that older dog has it might it may have its own work that needs doing to help it settle in and and live a live a happy happy nice nice life there's no there's no like right answer there I'm so happy I got my doggy. He's so lovely. <laughs> He's so wonderful. He's he was blowing bubbles in puddles this morning. He was just sticking his nose into puddles and going and then like watching all the bubbles come out of his enormous nose and then chomping them. Uh I'm clicking on dynamite because that seems to be the thing. <laughs> Did he blow his coat? So he's only blowing his coat on his back leg haunches. Don't know why, but that's the part of his coat. Like he's shedding everywhere for sure, but like that's where his undercoat is coming out. Nowhere else on his body, just his back leg sides. Um, Cause his coat is different all over his body. He's got like a stripe on his back. Um, he's got, he's, 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 he's really a, he's really a blender dog. <laughs> Is he a tiger? Yeah, he does have a slightly unusual coat, I would say. Mm. He's pretty. He's a good boy. Dax perches in your chest and goes completely floppy and falls off and looks up at you and grins. Oh. I love kitties. This last section is pretty long. We must be almost to the boss room. Yeah, we are. Kind of a cool dungeon layout. Oh, it's got a lot of teeth on it. <laughs> Massive candle. Good. All right, so the darkness mechanic is going to be important for this fight. Oh, oh, and now the tank has the massive candle. Okay. I could pick up, and it's on the ground, and you can pick up the light source and move it around. Interesting. Um, What does this do? Targeted for a massive shadow blast. I'm just going to run that out. And then run back in before I try to heal, because can't heal otherwise. There's a frontal. It almost looks like there's a portal over there, like an ad that's forming. And no, those are just around the edges. I was going to say that's where I drop the thing, but not necessarily. Uh, the candle's almost out. I could pick it up, but it's... Oh, it's refilled. I'm going to put it down again. Did I refill it with the thing I was holding? <laughs> That's what I get for not reading the dungeon turtle. I didn't know which dungeon I was going to get. Oh, I can't heal this warlock because they are in shadows. I wonder if they're bugged because they're pretty close to the, the candle. this out and now we're getting ants so I think I wonder if people don't know that as long as they have no candlelight debuff, they're not doing any damage, and I wonder if that's why. Oh no, it's dead. I was gonna say, I wonder if that's why it's only a half health, but it's it's been defeated now. Um, I suppose that's what you need to do. We did it. I got some flight stones. 
or pardon me, Valor Stones, but they are still called Flight Stones. But they're supposed to be called Valor Stones, but it looks like they're still called Flight Stones. They'll get to that at some point, I'm sure. Neat. Thank you. Yeah, I think that that'll go faster when when everybody knows the mechanic. I don't even know the mechanics, so I'm not here to sit and judge. I, let me take a look at that one. I want to read it. Just the last boss. I want to know what, what's going on with that. Mm, War Within. Well, that was the Dark Flame Cleft. Players without candlelight suffer smothering shadows. Umbral Slash and Shadow Blast will both damage the light if they strike it. So that line frontal does damage and reduces the candle's heat. It says he aims it towards the candlelight. Hang on a second. Summary and lore for the encounter. Okay. If the candle heat is depleted, there's shatter damage and everybody flees in fear. It increases your damage taken and reduces your haste and its stack. So that's every time we got feared, we were getting an extra 5% haste reduction stack and extra damage taken. Remaining within the candlelight protects you from smothering shadows, but reduces the heat of the candle over time. You can pick up and move the candle light source, and you can hurl a lump of wax gathered from a dead candle bearer to restore heat to your candles. So I wonder if those are the things we picked up earlier. Yeah, you can only do damage when you're in the candle heat. Uh, darkness beckons multiple wriggling darkspawn to come out of the thing. The wriggling darkspawn drain flames from the candle, so you need to kill them so they don't reduce your candle. It's funny, I wonder if there's a way to intercept the Emerald Slash or if it's just guaranteed damage to the candle. Because if he aims it towards the candle and it reduces the candle's heat, it doesn't say that you can intercept it. It just says it'll damage you if it hits it. And then the Shadow Blast is that thing that was on me. Um, you definitely don't want to hit the candle with that, so you got to run that out, which we did. In the overview... Yeah. That's what you got. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You could move the candle. Yeah, you could toss it. I bet you he, he, he could aim it and then you could pick up the candle and move it out. That's probably what was what was going on with it. I bet you that's exactly what you have to do. Ugh. I don't know when we're with it, beta will drop. <laughs> Warcraft only subscriber. Thank you for the brand new sub. Gonna adjust your name a tiny bit. Appreciate it. Let's see. What else can we do? My, I'm going to actually like, oh no, I don't need to relog because we reloaded. We just need to get back into shadow spec. That's right. Hmm. Hmm. Nice baby. I want to find some delves. That's what I want to do. That's right. Yeah. She's happy. Okay, so we're back in Shadow Spec. Um, that's where the Dark Flame Cleft Dungeon entrance is. That's Hallowfall. And just follow the quest line. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna hide the quest that I haven't been able to do yet. Let's go to the Shimmering Falls and see if we can progress in that way. Does Kira have a favorite sleeping spot? Depends on the depends on the mood. She's got a couple of them. She likes the bed. She's got a like a little nest bed kind of situation in our bedroom. She likes my lap whenever she can get it. But only when I'm streaming, because streaming is the only time that I'll actually sit still for like an hour in a row. <laughs> if I'm not streaming, I'll I get up too much. I'm too finicky, fiddly, fidgety. Alpha feel more finished than other alphas you have played. The last week did, this week does not. Um, the the first zone that I tested felt a little bit more, like I didn't run into as many functioning issues with quests and, and NPCs and whatnot. And this week feels a little bit less complete, but seems, seems about right. Seems fine. I'm also, um, uh, I don't know if this is unique to me. It's probably not, but I don't really keep memories of stuff like that 
I don't know if I I don't know if I could tell you how of the different betas I played, like which ones were more or less functional. I just don't know if I keep that information. I don't think my memory's got a ton of space, and I think I, I trash stuff to make room pretty often. King Splash, it's rare over here. Oh, there's a big one. Come on, come on, bud. <laughs> Water skipper's trousers. Nice. I need to collect a perfect lash room cap. Do you devote space to floor plans of places? I do, and it's so silly. Like memorizing floor plans? I know the floor plan of my apartment. Although sometimes I don't make it around the corners and then I hit them with my hips and then I get big bruises. <laughs> uh, places you've lived. Yeah, I know the floor plans of places that I've lived. Mind you, none of them have been terribly big. <laughs> I lived in one house when I was growing up, and all of the rest of them have been apartments, generally. There was a suite above a garage once. There was a, there was a basement suite once. There was- oh no, there was another house, but that was with a bunch of roommates, and it was a- But I remember- I remember where the rooms were. <laughs> this place looked party. The ability that looks like a black hole. So this is Void Eruption. That's just, um, that's a normal Shadow Priest ability. The actual big blue sphere that's happening on this... Uh, here, I'll show you. So this is just Void Eruption. We've had that one for a while. But we also have a new one that is part of Void Weaver. This is the new Void Torrent graphic, and then Entropic Rift is this guy. Pretty cool. <laughs> you think we get one as a mount? Nah, it's too cute. It's too fun. <laughs> They never give us the really fun crew. The, fun, the funnest thing they gave us as a mount in Dragonflight was like a, maybe an otter, maybe a slug. They were all right. They haven't even given us a duck yet. That's what we're saying. Besides, if it can't, if it can't sky ride, is it, is it really that important? The bucket nabber. <laughs> Look, there's the bucket! We're looking for a missing bucket and it's right there. <laughs> Bit to the bucket nabber. There we go. One missing bucket accounted for. I want to find a delve, but I'm assuming I'll just kind of come across them. I don't know exactly where they are. I was looting blooms. They were yellow. There will be more of them. <laughs> Waiting for a gnome mount for my torn character. <sighs> I think my horse is making like a lot of noises down here. There's a lot of snuffling going on. <laughs> Do you think a Void Lord will be the final endgame bad war with it? I have no idea. I uh, I don't follow that kind of thing super closely. I know uh, Zalatath is involved. <laughs> I know she's looking good. I mildly remember her from being a Shadow Priest in Legion. I feel like we just had a bunch of Void stuff in BFA at the end of BFA, but I guess it wasn't that long ago. Oh, oh, 
Blooms are back. Blooms are back. I wouldn't mind um, having a storyline with Naru as antagonist. I think that would be interesting. I don't know if it's one of the things that's coming in the, the World Soul Saga, but it'd be kind of cool. I fight who they tell me, and then I get loot. <laughs> yep. Oh. Listen, we are here for for uh, medium parses and quality of life. Now it runs. And we go with the light to Cal philosophy. Mm. All right, so we were getting stuff so we could clean up moss off of uh, mossy earth and oh, I found one. Hey, like an alpha so far? It's really cool. I like the new zones. Now that somebody mentioned it, and it's true, I was worried that it was going to be too cavey being underground. And I've only seen one underground zone so far, which is this one. This is the Ringing Deeps. I know there are other underground zones that we're, we're going to get to. But it doesn't feel too dark down here. I was worried everything was going to be very grim and cavey. <laughs> and there are caves that are even darker, um, like that dungeon that we just did. Which is which is fine, but like the general outdoor area is not too not too gloomy. I was a bit worried the whole thing was gonna be kinda like Zerilek or the Maw. And this is this is alright. I'm 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 down with this. Yeah, it doesn't look claustrophobic. Exactly. <laughs> the Naru inspired priest here for war with it is so sweet though. Earthen should be firm stone, not soft fuzz. <laughs> That's much better. Great to meet you. Keep your feet on the ground. What do you think his last words were? This dough is too runny. <laughs> How am I supposed to knead this? <laughs> oh, it's it's wax, I see. The still form of him is splattered with the still cooling dribbles of wax. I see. Who could it have possibly been? A sneezing counting is the last word. <laughs> Have you gotten to the books with goblins and goblin culture yet? No, not at all. We've got I've got some with about dwarves. But I think I'm still less than halfway through all of the Discworld novels, just because there's so many of them. I'm more than a dozen in, but I think that's less than halfway. Find the gem thief. Would you want WoW to introduce housing and decorations furniture making? Yeah, I think it'd be fun. I think that there it would be a good avenue for collecting and you could get professions involved and give them more things to craft that are valuable in the market that aren't necessarily tied to player power. I think it would fit in the game, but I'm also not, you know, <laughs> getting my hopes up too much that it would be everything I dreamed it would be if they ever had it or that they're ever going to do it. They might. But in the meantime, I have <laughs> I have other games that I can play that let me do that instead. 
if I ever really get the player housing, it's too bad. I just need to go boot up Animal Crossing again. I don't know if I'm in the right spot. There is something sparkly over here. But it might just be this, this lamp. Is that one doing it too? Yes. I love that dwarves date carefully. I thought that was really sweet how it's like a very like, you know, uh, tactful and, and delicate thing. Why didn't get back in Animal Crossing? I know it's not how you're like supposed to play Animal Crossing, but apparently my favorite thing is to completely trash an island and start a fresh save and then play it for like eight months and then and then leave it alone and then trash it again next time I play. I'm on like my third island and I have some desire to, to do it again one day. Because the, the early game is the most fun part to me. Once you're at the point where everything's kind of built and set up and paid for and you're just like collecting a couple new cosmetics and then like maintaining stuff, that, that phase of the game is pretty boring to me. Um... I, I much prefer early when like every bell that you get feels super valuable because you're still like unlocking rooms in your house and you're building bridges and you know like you're you're choosing your neighbors and stuff like that. But it does mean that I'm never getting like my complexion my collections complete or my museum complete even because I keep starting it over. Hmm. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be. Go down into the waterworks and retrieve the rest. I feel like I am in oh. Oh, I see. There's going to be more guys that I can I can fight here. That's how I feel about wow. Mm. Yeah, with how many cosmetics there are, starting over again is really really an aggressive proposition. Especially if you're playing through the DLC again as well. But I, the way I justify it to myself is I tell myself if I am really done with this save file that I have and I don't actually see myself playing it anymore, I'm going to get more net recreation and joy out of deleting it and starting again fresh than I would out of not playing it anymore because I don't want to delete it. You know, the, the question for me eventually boils down to am I going to play the save any further, you know, or am I done? Oh, there's all kinds of guys up top, too. Okay. I wonder if these ones have the same loot. Probably not. I don't think I'm that lucky. Oh, these post-war within warbands would make cosmetic farming a little easier? Hmm. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to start. I'm to be clear. I'm talking about Animal Crossing, not WoW. I don't want to start over my WoW collections. Um, not when I, not not with the amount of like I wouldn't if I was starting over. I wouldn't farm the things again. I think I've, I've got the joy that I wanted to out of farming all of these mounts once. I don't want to farm them a second time. <laughs> they lost an opportunity to let you keep everything expand out to further islands. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been kind of cool. Just like pay a bunch of bells to get basically like a new game plus where you where you get to start over and do the same process again but with a with a with a fresh island. And then you could let people like go back and visit their previous one, but you would have to give up your your status as the resident representative. I wonder if it just doesn't fit like the ethos of the game, you know, like the whole fantasy is that you're you're moving here and becoming neighbors with all of these people. And then ruthlessly telling them when you don't want them to live there anymore. I was thinking New Leaf. It was very fun. Hmm. You couldn't visit your old one. Oh. Because, yeah, New Game Plus sounds great. <laughs> what, Matt, would you least want to grind a second time? Cobalt Juggernaut. Not Cobalt Juggernaut. Um, Corcoran Juggernaut. 
uh, the one from Garrosh. I guess nowadays it wouldn't be as bad because you can skip the whole thing, but when I was like running all of that raid, that was icky. Yellow. I'm probably forgetting a bunch of stuff. Uh, mouse or keeper for movement? I would say both. I would say both. Um, I've got WASD with A and D bound to strafe instead of turn, and then I steer with my mouse. And I'll sometimes, I have a keyboard on my mouse that turns auto run on, so I'll toggle that on and off sometimes. Frustrating this thing, it's getting that thing you want. Had to wait for like forever for the gaming desk and chair. Yeah, I bet that would be really tough. In Animal Crossing, I've always been kind of like a, like a make do with whatever the game gives you. <laughs> and not, I, I, I try not to get my heart set on specific things that I don't have because of how awful it is in that game to try to get like a specific item that we just won't rotate into the shop or whatever. You don't have spells bound to your scroll wheel? No. Looked on a Discord for adding stuff to my Animal Crossing catalog. Yeah. Yeah, it would be a big project. I've never successfully bred all the flowers. That was something I was uh, starting to work on in, in my last Animal Crossing Island. Oh, but I got distracted. I've been playing Stardew when I get time, which has been not much lately. <laughs> My recreation time recently has been split between Stardew and Hearthstone Duos, and then being a vegetable on the couch. <laughs> Played any Mythic Plus yet this week? Yeah, I did. Uh, I did every key on a plus two, and then that was it. <laughs> I did every key on a plus two. I haven't tried pushing past plus two. Maybe this weekend. I've never tried Palia. No. Did you ever become a turnip mogul? No, the stock market <laughs> the stock market wasn't really my thing um, because it required you to like constantly check or like coordinate with other people to like try to get the best price. It seemed like more of like a flabby strat than a hazel strat. Um, especially because I'm liable to forget that I bought turnips in the first place and just let them all rot. What rating did plus two get you to? I want to say like a thousand and something because I got like 145-ish rating per dungeon so you multiply that by eight um you can get the the general gist of it i'm still looking for two more of these gems <laughs> void we wrote such pretty animations glad they went cosmic void instead of tentacle void yeah shadow priest has gone through so many different versions of aesthetic i feel like in in like Wrath and earlier, it was very much like a Sand Lane vampire kind of thing, um, with more more of an emphasis on like the vampiric and the life stealing elements. And then when you got to Warlords and you had like the shadow orbs, um, and like the whole combo point thing, the cosmetics of it, I feel like got a little bit wonky. And then when BFA, you ended up going very hard on the tentacles when we got kind of void form. And you're spreading tentacles out of your character, and then you had, um, you know, like, the sort of the the old god focus, and now we're going more cosmic void again. It's it's really gone through a journey. I'd say that you could use hero talents to let people embrace those different aesthetics as they choose, but not really. <laughs> you get Void Weaver or you get Archon, and we don't even know what Archon's going to look like. Hmm. Good item level for a plus two? I'd say like 480-ish. Um, 480-ish should be fine to, to to pug them. You can do it lower than that. I've heard people say, I'm 475 and I was doing fives and that's great. But I was 485 when I started pugging plus twos and that really made me sit up straight. I was, I was putting in some effort there. So I was for a while looting these gems that I need from these NPCs that are in this building. Not this one, this is like the boss one, but the other ones. Bold opportunist. Maybe I was looting different kinds of guys. This guy is using his opportunism to take a nap. <laughs> Are you stuck in bed, bud? Sorry, I've been there. What? Oh. 
I can't even get up onto the bed. Because, yeah, we do still have tentacles. They're they're around. They're involved. The wings and dragonflight. Been wild seeing all the changes. The wings used to be available as, like, a permanent thing in Warlords, I thought. I thought you had a glyph or something that you could do. Maybe a talent. I don't know. Time my first plus eight. Algathar Academy after we depleted one before on the third boss. Nice. How, um, how sweaty is that? After how much work I put into a 2 8 sounds spooky. Sixteen thirty one never been this high on week one. It was very scary. <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, there we go. The gem nabbers specifically. There just aren't that many of them, I guess. You think Elgothar Academy feels the easiest? I wonder if it scales differently on higher levels, because on the twos, that was my hardest key. By, like, a pretty good margin. Maybe it was just the group I had, but I don't know. Yeah, so Earthen have a couple of different racial traits. They can eat gems to get different food buffs, and that's the only way you get food buffs. You don't have to actually, like, buy and eat food. You've got this Azerite Surge um, Empower spell that does different things the farther you charge it up, assuming you don't get <laughs> bonked before it's over. The visuals aren't done yet, but... They, uh, they get more exploration experience from exploring. They get more armor value from the armor on their armor. Where's more gem nappers? There's a gem. Uh, I don't know about which gems they eat. I haven't been able to get to work on Alpha just yet. But I would assume it's the same base material that Jewel Captors use. Uh, I play Alliance. They don't have voices yet. Or at least they didn't have like voice lines for sillies and flirts on Alpha just yet. We tried earlier. Oh. I found the gem nappers. I've been on this quest for like half an hour. There we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk back. I think I'm gonna be stuck in combat for a while. You getting up, kitty? Yeah. I know we said the earthen are much bigger than like normal dwarves, but I don't feel that big. I guess I haven't found any non-earthen dwarves to compare myself to. How does a priest AoE? Uh, you apply sh you apply your dots to a lot of things via shadow crash, and then you do your normal rotation. On the last gem. Don't worry. Don't worry, ma'am. I've killed Glint Wick like seven times. <laughs> Be good. Keep your feet on the ground. Off with you. Yeah, I guess she has voice lines. It's just it's just my player character that, that isn't saying anything. Buddy, you good? Nah, I don't think mine's here has been been meaningful or a thing for like a couple patches. Might have an extra foot or two, like the size of a female Pandaren. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I love these things. 
Well, I guess this quest is over. I guess that one's done. What do we have left? We have the Ringing Death, which we couldn't we couldn't fight. We have Brass Knuckles, which we couldn't do. There's one. <laughs> Haven't tried this yet. I was hoping to run into a Delve, but I'm starting to run a little low on time. Candle King is crazy. I'm sorry, I need a good look at this at this guy. Forcing kobolds into war, but many want peace, I see. Not all kobolds. This model is off the chain. Not literally. <laughs> is this a teenage kobold? Is this a baby kobold? His name's Skitter. Also, um, the gear that the speaker is wearing is giving a uh, um alien. <laughs> I love that his little earrings it's adorable. Uh, it's good to see some of the kobolds are not keen on the war. That's nice. Kill the kobolds. <laughs> what about you? What do you want me to do? Kobolds take candles seriously. Wax even more. More important than gold, more important than freedom! Uh, we steal candles from Candle King. We make him look weak. Bully that looks weak loses control. Gets dead! Uh, don't have to wait out here in the dark until get eaten. Hurry. He's not real big on, um, prepositions. Recover flicker flame candles from around the lost mines and then we get a belt. Our item levels are a bit wonky, but that's alright. Dr. Octopus vibes from here. What is it? <laughs> This is not suspicious at all. We have a scary dark chest that is here. If I get in shadow form, surely it'll rip. Everything will be fine. <gasps> it's a pet. We got Oopla Jacks. Little octopode guy, I'm guessing. No abilities yet. Also uses a bubble when not all of the octopodes do. Unless they do. No, we have bubbleless octopodes and then we have Ooplajacks. He's a little jumpy, especially around the face. <laughs> candle stubs. I can light all these candles. That has to be for something. Uh, they, okay, they don't stay on. I wonder if something happens if you can, um, if you have enough people to, like, get them all lit. I assume it'll spawn the chest once finished. It's just that I just looted the chest. I wonder if the chest is, like, not working properly. Or what if it's just because I'm a super awesome Shadow Priest? Yeah, they can they can be everything except for druids, demon hunters, and evokers. So they can do DK. I don't know what the rationale is, but they can. Pretty sure. Well, this seems to be going much better. There has to be a delve around here. There just has to be. There's the dungeon.
the rationale is that Bovar rolled up to a pile of rubble and went, yeah, you're DK now. Occasional glimmers of light sputter briefly from within the cracked gem before it goes dark once more. Faded memory gem. Broken memories. Something about this particular gemstone feels important. See, this is nice. This is fine. <laughs> my, ter my character isn't going, hmm, I wonder if this is a, if this is a key discovery. I should bring it back to Speaker Britta. <laughs> Stone zombie. Yeah. I mean, we've got undead zombies. They're double undeads. It's a double negative. They should be alive again. <laughs> I'm just saying words. I think I'm at a... I'm at the, I'm at the approaching lunchtime amount of uh, head empty, no thoughts. I don't think I'm gonna get to the Delve today, but we do have two more two more weekend streams. I'm planning to stream Alpha both days this weekend, so I can poke around the rest of the zone as best as we can. Maybe try the other dungeon. Maybe try some other maybe try some other classes. It might be kind of fun to get make a hunter and then come tame a mudskipper and then have a wonderful day. <laughs> With the best hunter pet in the entire game. Oh. Big candle boy. He kind of looks like a honey monster from Winnie the Pooh. Or from the honey place in Stormsong Valley. Pretty cool monster design. Have you noticed any mounts that don't work with dragon riding? Last week, the audit carrier was still not doing it. Yeah, this one I'm pretty sure can fly normally, but does not does not sky ride yet. That's the only one that I noticed, though. There's probably more, but almost every flying mount can sky ride. Test every mount? Question mark. Hmm. You go a little better now that we have all the vigor in the better vigor region. Where is all your armor, bud? Why is your tail on fire? Do they all have tails that are on fire? Are they all like Charmanders? Oh, he's Charmonger. <laughs> I told you I was hungry. <laughs> Literally his name. He didn't drop me any loot. Bummer. <laughs> oh, his tail went out. <laughs> yeah, you want to see a you want to see a big old Big old mechanical looking sky riding map. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And how do I roll again? Woo! <laughs> I have no problems with this whatsoever. Everything is working as intended. <laughs> you just can't think about it too much. How is the broom flipping? I don't think I have a broom. Not on Alpha, for whatever reason. I don't have the Ghastly Rider. I have it on retail. But the horse flips, the airship flips, I'm sure the broom flips too. New zone? Yeah! New zone from last week. Yeah, I'm pretty relieved about that too, hip owned. I was also a little bit worried, but it's been so far so good. 
Um. Yeah, I think the Dreadwick would have the same animation. What about the tiger and the sky wolf? Did you take candle? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, heart, heart bottle loop bite. You ready? See, I'm telling you, they all do a little spin. <laughs> Can't show it too many times in a row because we're a. Uh, or the lack of um <laughs> bigger. But yeah, I like the I like the dragon the, the sky riding mounts that just run through the sky. I think those are cute. I think it looks neat. Pardon me. There's a kobold NPC called a button masher. If that's not on the nose. <laughs> Didn't do the spin. Listen, it's a magic wolf. <laughs> you can do whatever it wants. Hmm. What if every time it was just like a big sideways gust of air? Is there going to be a kobold named Clicker? <laughs> I hope so. Button masher, button clicker. Button turner. We've got a rust crusher. Being able to move in Void Torrent is just so bizarre, but I bet that's gonna be awesome for um for raid. I can't I can't remember how many times and I would never try to that I've been I start void torrenting and then I immediately realize that I timed it poorly and I need to move out of something. I needed to divine him while moving. <laughs> I cancelled a bunch of divine hymns last night because I forgot that the Razageth breast was gonna start and I was like, oh man. I guess I'm no good to anybody dead. Are they allied with the goblins? That's a good question. Oh, we got the keys we needed. I kind of thought this would be a delve, but it's just a cave. It's a cool looking cave, though. <laughs> I suppose they have to go out of their way to differentiate the caves in a cave from just like the general outdoor cave because it's all kind of sort of cave. Uh, but this is a, this is a particularly cavey cave. There's a climbing rope down there too. I think I'm going to turn these in and then look into wrapping up. I was hoping I would come across a delve. Not to do it today, but just to maybe do it tomorrow. There's a hole there. That doesn't mean anything. As far as I know, the delves aren't marked on the map yet. But I bet you if I keep questing, it'll uh, it'll bring me around to them. I bet you these campaign quests lead to them eventually. I just hope it's not anything that we've... These are side quests, I think, that I got stuck on. Should be fine. Because in the last zone, they had quests that, that asked you to do the devil specifically. Unlock the gates to the Lost Mines. Take the fight to the Candle King. Hmm. Oh. I wonder if there's going to be like a dungeon quest after that one. There's a Fire Spirit Trinket. 
Why is your map all blocky? That's just alpha. They haven't, um, the map's not finished yet. They haven't done the art layer for it yet. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do it. <laughs> it wasn't me. It's not my fault. <laughs> Although people have, I have um, heard people asking um, or expressing that they like it better this way. Um, and that they would prefer this to the the, the finished game maps. Ooh. All right, Kitty. Should we wrap this? Should we wrap this ship up? How you doing? Sail at home. <laughs> she lets me pet her tummy sometimes, as long as I don't do it too many times in a row. <laughs> All right, I'll be back tomorrow for a Saturday morning alpha stream. Hopefully, we can uncover some delves in the zone and try and see how they're different from the first two we did. That would be really fun. I appreciate your company. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.